guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be testing out some products that I recently hauled. So I do have quite a few products to share with you guys so you guys can see these products in action on my face. So this will be a full talk through video. So I am super excited to be doing this video because I am using the Royals palette and this is the palette that I featured in my recent haul. And I told you guys that this looks very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Modern Renaissance palette. Now believe it or not, I have this palette on one of my eye and I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Renaissance palette on the other eye. So instead of me doing like a dedicated swatch video review and all that good stuff, I wanted to just go ahead and throw these palettes in today's tutorial just so I can show what they look like in action instead of, you know, just a typical review video. So. Yeah, you guys will see that and you also will see a few of the other products that I mentioned in my recent haul video in action on my face. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, then let's go ahead and jump right in. So I went ahead and applied my foundation because I don't have a new foundation. I barely have new foundations when I do my full face first impressions. But if you're wondering, I use the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation and I'm in the shade Deep Honey. So I want to try out the new brush that I just talked about in my recent haul. This is the brush from Makeup Shack. This is the T40. So this is a foundation buffering brush. So I just want to try this out. Ooh, so I like how it blends out the foundation. It's not streaky. So I do like that. All right, so I'm really loving this brush. I like how it's not leaving any streaks on my face. It blends out the foundation very smoothly and evenly too. So that's one thing that I look for, especially with makeup brushes because it's kind of hard to come across a good makeup brush that's not gonna leave your foundation looking streaky. Um, so this just does a nice job with buffing it out on your face. And so yeah. Okay, so everything is on. I have my foundation, my concealer, my setting powder because I don't have any new products for those. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the eyes and I have an eyeshadow palette that I featured in my recent haul and this is from Shop Hush. So they sent me a package full of makeup products and one of the products was this eyeshadow palette and this is the Royals Bad Habit Palette. And this is supposed to be a dupe to the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Renaissance palette. So um, as you can see, it looks very identical. So I do have that palette right here. So I'm just gonna put it side by side. Um, I did mention that I wanted to do like a dedicated, um, I think a dedicated swatch video of this video, <laughs> a dedicated review of both of these palettes, but I figured I'd just go ahead and, sorry, it's a hair there, got it, got it. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and put these palettes in this video so I can go ahead and knock it out. But yeah, so this is the palettes. Don't they look very identical? Let me get the brush out of the Anastasia palette. But yeah, so this is both of the palettes. This is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance and this is the Royals palette. So very similar. So what I'm going to do is basically do a... a so I'm basically going to use both of these palettes and create the same look on both of the eyes. So before we do that, I have a primer. Um, I haven't primed my eyelids yet. I know they look pretty greasy and oily, but I have a primer that I wanted to try out and it is the new Urban Decay Primer Potion. I think they have new shades. So I actually got the darkest one. This is the one in Caffeine. Um, so I wanted to try this out, so this is what it looks like. I have tried one of these primers before in the past, but it was just their original one, but it looks like they came out with different colors. This is what it looks like. I know I didn't put this in the haul, but this is actually a product that I forgot I had. So yeah, so this is what the primer looks like. It just looks like a concealer. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out on my eyelids. I usually put a concealer on my eyelids and just blend it out and then put a um, setting powder on top just so it could make the process faster but I want to try this out and see if this works just as good if not better mm. all right so so far so good it looks really nice on my eyelid it's not too bright 
it's actually perfect for my skin tone so again this is in the shade caffeine um, and it's the darker one that they have I might add a little bit more but we're gonna go with this I'm actually gonna add a little bit more kind of in my crease and I don't even know what look I'm going for for today I pretty much always never know what look I'm going for when I'm talking with you guys like this like in a talk through tutorial because I don't plan out I really don't plan out my makeup looks when I'm doing my tutorials well no I take that back I don't plan out my makeup looks when I'm doing a talk through but when I'm doing like a makeup tutorial like with the music going and all that I do plan um, the look that I'm going for before I start filming but for this video I don't I don't know I just don't know but I might do something simple because I pretty much just want you guys to see the similarities of both of these palettes so I'm not gonna go all out that kind of dried up a little bit I noticed when I kept it on my eyes it dried up so it looks a little patchy right there so you might have to work with this a little bit fast if you are gonna um, apply it on both eyes and then you know anyway so we're gonna start off with the Royals eyeshadow palette and I forgot to wash one of a few of my brushes so I'm gonna take this little um, brush cleaning sponge that I also hauled in my recent haul video and just wipe off any product that was on this brush and I'm using my Sigma tapered blending brush this is my favorite brush to use for any color in my crease because it it just blends out the shadow perfectly so this is the e40 if you're wondering all right so starting off with the royals palette whatever shade i'm using in this i will go into the anastasia on um, beverly hills palette to match it up so it looks like i will be starting off with you guys they literally have the same colors in these palettes um I'm gonna start off with, I don't know. Mm. All right, first I'm gonna start off with Grand, and this is this grayish brown. And the same color in the Anastasia palette is in the color um, Cypress Umber. So as you can see, these two colors right here. Oh, can you see it though? These two colors right here. These are gonna go in my crease. So for this eye, I'm using the Royals palette, and then for this eye, I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So let's get started. All right, so so far, it blends out really nicely. And as you guys saw in my haul video, well, first off, if you haven't seen that haul video, I did feature um, this palette in the haul video as um, along with another eyeshadow palette that they sent me that is a dupe to the Alice in Wonderland eyeshadow palette um but yeah if you haven't seen that haul check it out after you watch this one all right so that is all I'm gonna do for right now on that side now we're gonna go on this side and I'm gonna wipe all of that product off so that it won't mix up with the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Alright, so taking the same color that was in the Royals palette, um, I now have the Anastasia palette, so you guys can see. But taking that same color, or the color that looks exactly like it, I'm taking um, Cypress Umber, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side, just so y'all can see. Yeah, so this is pretty much the same, you guys. So if you want something um, a little bit cheaper than the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, I would check out shophush.com. I will have that website down below in my description if you guys are interested in checking out that website. And I do have a coupon code for you guys. Even though the products on there are very affordable, it's always nice to have a little bit extra off of your total. So I do have a coupon code if you're interested in checking um, out that website. All right, now we're gonna wipe everything off and we're gonna go back into the Royals palette. I think I'm gonna stick with this same brush and I'm gonna tap in the shade. What do I wanna do? I feel like most of my neutral eye looks are the same, like all the time. They, I feel like they just come out the same. I don't know, but let's see. I think I'm gonna take Majestic, which is this beautiful magenta shade right here and go back into the crease and kind of 
not focus more above my crease, kind of focus more in the center and kind of drag it down. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that with that same brush. Y'all, these are nice. Like it blends out so beautifully. Oh my God, this is nice, you guys. Look how beautiful, look at that. That is intense, yes. So I'm gonna take my brush and take everything off. I'm doing this because I want you guys to see the step, like the process of me doing everything. So you won't think, okay, well, did she really, you know, put her brush in the other palette? Is she really using both palettes? But yes, I'm using both palettes. So that color was Majestic in the Royals palette. Now I'm gonna take the, co uh, the color Love Letter. I think that's the same one as Majestic. Yeah, so Love Letter, uh, Love Letter in the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, so this shade right here. Now as I'm doing this, do I notice a difference with these shadows absolutely not <laughs> um, they blend out beautifully like they're not patchy um, the majestic not the majestic but the Royals palette the uh, the pigmentation is insane for the price I forgot how much it was but um, as always I'll have all of that information for you guys down below so you guys will know but it's definitely cheaper than the Anastasia palette but so far, I see no difference, none whatsoever. All right, moving back to the Royals palette, I'm gonna take the color Crown, and this is um, the gold in this palette, and I'm gonna take my Sigma E55. This is just a flat shader brush, and we're gonna see how this works. Oh, yes, whoa. This is crazy, crazy. I didn't even need to wet my brush for this. Like this pigmentation is insane. So the same color in the Royals palette that's in the Anastasia palette is in the shade Primavera. I think that's how you say it, but it's this one right here. So I'll take a little bit of that and go in. Yeah, so this looks no different. It all looks the same and it all applies beautifully. I didn't need any uh, makeup setting spray to apply anything, not, not yet. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is go back into the Royals palette um, and I'm gonna take the shade Re Regal, which is this one right here. It's very similar to Majestic, but it's a little bit lighter and it has kind of like a um, purpley silver sheen to it. So I'm gonna take this color right here and go on the inner corner, kind of blend this in with the gold and everything else. I don't even know if that'll make a difference, but we're gonna see. Mm, I don't think I like that gold. It's pretty, but I don't think I like it with this look. So I'm gonna take that same color, um, Regal, and go over it. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so wiping all of that off, we're gonna move over to the Anastasia palette. And the same color that's in the Royals palette is in the shade, so it's in the shade Venetian Red. I think I said it right, but it's this color right here. If you make a mistake on one eye, you need to make that same mistake on the other eye just so you won't have two different looks going on, you know? This honestly looks like I'm using one palette. Like you would never know that I'm using two separate palettes if I didn't tell you. Um, so now we're gonna pick up the Royals palette again and we're gonna go back into the gold shade, which is the shade Crown. And this is what I'm gonna take 
to apply on the inner tear ducts so just to brighten this eye look so i'm going to take this and i'm actually going to use the little brush that the modern renaissance palette came with so that is something different um about these two is the crown not the crown but the royals palette did not come with an eyeshadow brush but the anastasia beverly hills palette did so i'm going to take this smaller part on the brush and apply the gold on the inner corners of my eye. I think I may need a little bit of Fix Plus for this, but we're going to see. Yeah, I'm going to wet my brush just a little bit with my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Spray. I've been loving this stuff. Just wet it a little bit. Wiping that off, we're going to go into the Anastasia palette, and the same color in this palette is in the shade um, Primavera, which is right there. Now I'm actually going to take that same brush, swirl it around, make sure everything is off, and go back. Oh! just dropped it and I'm gonna pick up the Royals palette again and I'm gonna take the color do, 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 do. what color do I want to take now I'm gonna take Regal and Grand so I'm gonna mix these two let me show it to you I'm gonna mix these two shades together actually no I want to mix these two Majestic and Grand mix these two together and take it on the bottom lash line just to smoke out that bottom line and I'm still going to use that same brush. I'm just going to tap it in there like that and take it. Let me actually use a mirror on this and I like how this palette came with the mirror just like the um, Anastasia palette. So the same two colors that are in the Royals palette that is in the Anastasia palette is Love Letter and Cypress Umber. So these two shades right here. All right, so that is everything I'm gonna do with the eyeshadow portion. Now we're gonna go in with eyeliner and I wanna take the new e.l.f. eyeliner that I also recently hauled. Um, this is their Jet Black Ink Eyeliner. Whew. Hate when something gets in my eye. Lately, I haven't been dragging the eyeliner all the way down to my um, tear duct because I feel like if I do that, it closes up my eyes. So I want to keep my eyes open. So I just kind of stop in the middle. So I pretty much just drag it down and kind of stop in the middle and that's it. Like I don't drag it all the way down because I don't want, for one, I don't want it to mess up the highlight right there. So. Yeah, but that's what I've been doing lately. I feel like I could have done a better wing, but one thing about this eyeliner is the brush on it is super, super soft. So it's not like, it's not stiff. I know some liquid eyeliners, the brushes is stiff, which allows you to do a more precise line. But since this brush is so soft, it can kind of get messy and kind of tacky. So you have to be careful with that. Um, and that's how I messed up on this one a little bit. So I had to kind of do the same thing on that side. But hopefully when I put my lashes on, you can't really tell. I don't think you guys can tell it right now anyways. But I can definitely see it because I have my mirror like up close and personal. And I can see it. But yeah. Now I'm going to apply my bottom eyeliner with an um, eyeliner pencil that I have to get up and get because I don't have it. And I'm also going to go ahead and apply my lashes because that takes forever and I'll be right back. All right, so my lashes are on and this lash is getting on my nerves. But yeah, my lashes are on. The only thing left is blush, highlighter, and my lips. So I don't have any new blushes, but I am going to be using my Juvia's Place blush palette. I use this every single day. Um, so the color that I'm gonna be using is this shade right here. This is in the shade Sola. This looks very similar to the NARS Orgasm Blush. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be taking this and just applying it. So now on to the highlighter. I was kind of juggling between the e.l.f. highlighter. This is one of their newer colors and also the Kevin Aquan highlighter palette. These both were also mentioned in my recent haul video. Pretty much everything that I have 
put on my face today minus the foundation concealer powder all of that good stuff um were mentioned in my previous haul but i'm kind of juggling between these two i think i want to try this one out simply because when i swatched it in that haul video it looked very light on my hand and i just want to see how it looks when i apply it with a blush um, not a blush but a brush um and the brush that i'm using is the sigma f 37 so this is the spotlight duster so it goes from dark to light and i actually just want to focus on the darker shade because i don't know i just feel like this is this highlighter is not for my skin tone so we're gonna try out this darker side right here tap my brush in it a little bit hopefully this works for me i don't know so we're gonna try add a little bit more Hmm. Okay. That's actually not bad. Not bad at all. Really? Look at that. Okay. So I'm not too fond of the color selection that they have with this, but the glow actually looks pretty nice. So what I want to do now is go on top of it with this gold because I feel like I look a little bit washed out. So I want to use a gold highlighter, which is this e.l.f. Um, highlighter and I need a different brush for this. So I wipe a little bit of that off the brush and go in with the same brush. Now this brush is very flimsy. I don't know if it's gonna, if it's gonna pick up anything from this highlighter, but we'll see. See, I should have just started off with this highlighter in the first place, so. Oh yes, this is giving me even more life. And I feel like people are really sleeping on e.l.f. Like they're sleeping on their highlighters, they're sleeping on their lip products, their eyeshadows. e.l.f. is really nice. So lately I've really been into highlighting my forehead for some reason. I don't know, it just gives it that extra glow on my face. It looks really good in pictures. But I just only highlight like right here. I don't highlight the whole center of my forehead, just these two areas. Um, and it just looks really good in pictures because that light hits it. It just re looks really good. All right, so we're done glowing up the face. Now we're going to do the last step, which is my favorite step, which I'm pretty sure most of you already know, which is the lips. And I'm going to take both of the new e.l.f. lip products that I featured in my previous haul. Like I have featured pretty much everything in this video um but the gloss i'm using is their new lip lacquer in the shade praline now i don't believe this is available yet but i do believe this is one of the shades that they are thinking about bringing out i do believe but i know for a fact it's not on the website at least not since i looked at it maybe it's on there now but it's not on there well, it wasn't on there when I looked at it. So again, this is the lip lacquer in the shade Praline. And then I'm going to top it off with the new e.l.f. lip plumping gloss. Now, typically I would apply a gloss on a liquid lipstick or just a regular lipstick. But I don't know. I just feel like applying gloss over a gloss today. So yeah. So let's start off with the Praline. And I like this because I don't have to wear a lip liner with it, even though... I could definitely wear one with it. I just don't choose to because the color is beautiful. Because I know with some nudes, we have to wear a lip liner with it just so it won't look like we have powdered donut lips. <laughs> but this one looks really nice. Now to go on top of it, I'm going to take the plumping gloss. So this is supposed to plumping up your lips, but let's just see how it looks. I know it's not really going to change the color of this lip. But I just want to add that extra glossy shine. And I also want to see if it tingles on the lips. Because that is one thing that I was um, wondering about when I did my haul. I was like, I don't know if this tingles. Because sometimes when you apply a plumping gloss, the tingle can be so intense to where it's just not comfortable. So... I just want to see if that gives it that same effect and so far I don't feel it I just feel like a a slight cooling sensation on the lips and that's it it's like it's not too intense I know the Too Faced um, lip injections now those are intense and yeah but this does not give you that 
super intense tingly feeling it feels like more of a cooling sensation it's not it's not bad at all so mm. I like it so I think I am done so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down and I'll be right back all right you guys so that completes this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I really hope you guys enjoyed me using both of these palettes on this video um, now if you stay to the very end I do have a surprise for you guys I did not want to mention it in the video and I also didn't want to mention it like in the title or anything like that because I just want to make sure those of you who watch my videos stick to the very end so you guys can get a treat so I do have another Royals palette to give away so um, unfortunately only one winner will win this I wish I had a prize for each and every one of you but I do have another palette um, to give away I just want to show the one that I have is right here and this is the one that you guys will get so it does come in a sleeve um, but yes, so if you're interested in winning this palette, I will have the link down below in my description. You'll have to find the link because I usually leave like my giveaway links towards the beginning of the, um, description, but I'm not even going to say where it is. So you'll have to find the link in my description to enter into this giveaway. So yeah, I wanted to go ahead and, um, give you guys this palette since I have two of them, I figured go ahead and share it with one of you guys so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, let's go ahead and talk about the products that I use on my face really quickly now obviously you guys know that I love this palette hands down um, it is very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, modern Renaissance palette so if you have not been able to get your hands on the Anastasia palette I would highly recommend at least trying this one out before you spend that extra buck on the Anastasia palette I know this one in the past I know it would sell out very quickly I do believe it's still available but if you want to spend a little bit less on an eyeshadow palette that is spot on to the Anastasia palette I would get the Royals palette I will have a link down below in my description there is also a coupon code that I want to give you guys it's always good to have you know extra money off of you know anything even if it is affordable I just feel like it's always good to still have that extra savings so I do have a coupon code for you guys if you're interested in trying out this palette also if you're interested in entering into the giveaway just find the link down below in my description too but yeah so yes absolutely love that palette the next thing I love in this tutorial is the elf highlighter this is in apricot glow and it is a beautiful gold I just wish I used this before I use the Kevin Aquan so you guys can really see how beautiful it is but um, the Kevin Aquan highlighter I was not too impressed with I did like that it gave me a nice glow it wasn't too ashy but I just don't like how I had to just use that one if I can open it I just don't like how I had to use the darker shade in this palette and this palette is the darker one that they have I do believe I think this is the darker one um, and it's in the shade Sahara I just don't like how I just had to dip my brush in that darker shade just so it could look presentable on my skin tone um, but I do love the new elf highlighter and what I also love about elf's highlighter is you don't have to use them dry you can also use them wet so if you want to intensify that glow I would highly recommend wetting your brush and applying this as you know with the wet because you are going to get that intense highlight so absolutely love this and I feel like I didn't use a lot of new products in this video um, okay the eyeshadow primer now if you watch my tutorials a lot you know that I rarely use an eyeshadow primer I used to use the MAC paint pot um, I forgot what color it was but I always used to use that on my eyes but then I got lazy and didn't want to do that extra step so all I would do is just apply my concealer when I was applying my concealer under my eyes down the bridge of my nose my forehead chin all that good stuff so when I was doing that I went ahead and just applied my concealer on my eyes and then just put the setting powder on my eyes as well and I just knocked out that step so I just didn't feel like doing that extra step with applying an eyeshadow primer but I can say this is really good now it did go on my eyes really nicely it wasn't patchy the only time I noticed that it was patchy is when I let it sit 
So if you let this sit on your eyes, I notice that it is going to dry down and when you try to blend it out, you're going to see that patch on your eyes. So I, I'm pretty sure you guys saw it because I definitely did see it. But um, um, what else did I love in this tutorial? I think that is it. Oh, the lippies. The lippies. I cannot leave the lippies out. The new e.l.f. lip lacquer in the shade Praline. Like I said, I don't believe they have this one available yet. But you can go on their website to vote for the next best color. So I suggest you guys go on there and voting for this color because it is gorgeous. Um, and then the next one is the e.l.f. Plumping Gloss. Now I noticed when I was applying this, I did feel that cooling sensation on my lips. But I don't feel it anymore. Like it just... the coolingness went away um which is not bad so another thing that i noticed about these two lip products is they are not sticky they feel very smooth on the lips they are pigmented well the praline was super pigmented the lip plumper is not as pigmented because it's i mean it's just a lip plumper you don't really need a, a pigmented lip plumper but i feel like these went very nicely together and i like the nude glossy lip that I have going on um but yeah I think that is everything that I really love throughout this tutorial and I think that is everything I have so if you enjoyed this video make sure you thumbs it up also if you're not subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe before you leave and again if you are interested in entering the giveaway I will have the link down below in my description you'll just have to find it but yeah I think that is everything I have for this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye